for us. I will be now laying out some more cards to have a look at when and how this person could come forward uh, with their feelings for you, Taurus. So um, this can be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's have a look now and see when and how this person could approach you. When will it happen? Anything else we can learn about that? Okay, the Empress, Queen of Swords, the Death card. Ten of Cups and the Moon. Okay, so uh, possibly around the time of Cancer or Scorpio uh, that this person could come forward with their emotions um, or there might be some sort of announcement or conversations they may reach out. Now, uh, I feel like um, maybe this is more so for the people that have a history with this person because the past has come up twice. Uh, the Death card can be Scorpio. It can be suppressed emotions. Um, it can be, you know, something that the, this person has still held on to you or thoughts of you, thoughts of the future, that's for sure, or, or what you could have had or were close to having Taurus. Um, but I also feel like the moon is evidenced of emotional attachment that still exists, at least for this person. So I want to say it could happen around this time frame. So this may be when you see significant developments with this person and their emotions towards you. Um, and I think it's going to come as a verbal expression and i think it might be face to face i see you connecting there could be an invitation here the queen of swords does represent a conversation and she's quite articulate okay she's well spoken so i'm guessing um, and she's very clear so i'm guessing the communication can take place in person rather than like online or virtually maybe through social media uh, i mean i could be wrong they could still approach you online um but i feel like it's either a lengthy message like um it's a lengthy message on social media, or it might come as an email. I don't think it's going to be like a short, brief thing. I think it's more in depth. It, it, it's got more words to it. It's quite elaborate, I think. But it could also be that you may be hearing it through friends. The Queen of Swords likes a bit of gossip, okay? She likes a bit of gossip. She likes a bit of scandal. So you may hear that this person has feelings, maybe through mutual friends or through a piece of gossip, I think. That could definitely happen. Um, it could also be at some sort of outdoor event. They could also strike up a conversation with you because the Empress in the Ten of Cups, it could be like a function, maybe a barbecue, a party, a bee garden, uh, an outdoor market. You know, if you see this person there, that could be when they make you an offer. But I think you're going to have a lengthy conversation and get to know them a lot better with that Queen of Swords. Especially, you know, they're going to come out of their mind and just really make it plain to you. It could also be through family, uh, like a family event, a wedding, an engagement, uh, a party, a christening. Something where there is family involved or children because there's children in two of the cards and the Empress represents fertility. So for some of you, it could be um, through your children somehow, like a children's birthday party. This person may come forward if, if they do have children, which for some of you, I do feel like they do. Uh, and if you have been acquaintances and you, you've, known for, you've known each other, Taurus, I feel like that's when they may come forward. Uh, for others, it, it could be at a family event of some kind or a celebration through family, friends, family members. The intimate family, the immediate family, the extended family, social circle. It could be through these avenues that the two of you speak and connect. And they come forward with their emotions here. But they feel very strongly for you. Because A, Pisces came up in the general reading. And they also have Cancer and Scorpio. These are all water signs. And this all shows that powerful emotions are at play this person isn't already secretly in love with you, then they're definitely falling. I feel like there's history here. Um, you could also be familiar to them somehow. Maybe you remind them of someone they used to know, they used to date, they used to be with. And this is like further adding to the emotions they already feel for you, Taurus. The Empress is here and she represents a lot of beauty and extravagance. So I don't know if this person is going to be quite extravagant um, again, it could be at a function where you're well-dressed, Taurus, this other person could be well-dressed, or they're really going to um, do something to impress you when they approach you. So they might buy a new tie, uh, they may wear a nice dress, uh, they may have a makeover, they may fix their hair, um, they may have gotten the nails done, you know, there's something of beauty to attract you. 
And I think they know that these little things really attract you, Taurus. I think they well you know enough. They know your character know enough, uh, well enough to know what attracts you physically. And I think they're going to go out there and do that. A, you might have said in passing you like something. And then B, the next day they show up wearing it or, or, or owning it or something like this. I feel like you have you've might have expressed that whether to them directly or maybe through gossip. So you might have said it to another person, but actually they found out and they're getting, going that extra measure of a bit of extravagance here. Or it could be that they come forward and ex at an extravagant venue, maybe a dinner, a bar, a social setting. I think it's where there's family and people involved, though, somehow. It could also be that they come, they, uh, come forward at a time when the past res resurfaces around you. Uh, so, for example, you might have an old friend reach out. You might have an ex reach out. Uh, you may revisit a past employer. Uh, something that has happened to you in the past may happen again, and then that's when this person is coming in. So maybe there's a link here, Taurus. Maybe, just maybe, something happens from your past or something resurfaces from your past, but it's going to be around the same time, around or in the same time that this person is going to come forward with their emotions. Uh, but they've keep, been keeping this a secret for quite some time because it's suppressed its secrets. I feel like with the skeleton in the, it's like skeletons in the closet because this Grim Reaper is personified by a skeleton here. And I think about subconscious mind and, and suppressing things and... I think that's what what's coming up here. Or it could be a secret you already know, Taurus. It could be on some level. I associate a lot of the metaphysical with the death card. So maybe on an energetic level, you know that this person has something for you. Maybe it hasn't been spoken. It hasn't been spoken word. But maybe it's more intuitive than that. The moon can be intuition. Some of you, I feel, may end up with this person. The notion of family is very strong here. The empress, she's seen as pregnant, planting a new seed, fertility. We have children, a happy family home, a happy, happily family, um, a, a conjoined or blending of families. So some of you, there could be a future with this person. What may have started as a simple crush or admiration can most certainly grow into something very, very beautiful, very emotionally binding. You know, the twin towers. Can this be twin flame energy? Can this even be a past life energy? Uh, you may have had a connection in the past. You may have been lovers in a past life or maybe in a past setting. But I feel like there's something to work with here. And it, it could be quite big. But I, I, I'm excited. I think there's a lot of, um, you know, what I think they're thinking about you or they're wanting from you. It's to be involved in family. You know, they want to be involved in your world and your family, whether they want to play a parent to your children, uh, whether they want to play, you know, be, be a grandmother or a grandfather coming to the, fa um, the family, whether they want to build that with you, whether they see you as a prospective future partner to have their first marriage and children with you know depends where you are at life at life at which stage you're at but i very am drawn to that taurus and it's come it's very thematic it's come up a few times in this reading so uh look i hope that has been helpful and given you a little bit of insight uh thank you again so much for tuning in taurus